Whoa, hello folks. How do you make a walking stick? Well, I just did. It took me about an hour or so. Putting on the uh, four coats of linseed oil did take a while. All you do is you just, just brush it on. You let it dry for about six hours. You put on another coat. But I sanded this one down. Uh, this is actually from the Puranka, <laughs> Puranka plant. I, I said that totally wrong. I know I did. Um, at the end of this video, there is a little article about what type of plant it is and also some pictures of it in the wild so you guys can possibly find out if you have this in your in your uh, backyard or front yard or whatever. This is a beautiful wood and it's a very hard wood and it makes a fantastic walking stick. The branches are extremely straight also. Um, got the little rubber foot pad from my local hardware store, cost about 25 cents. And then I sanded it down with 100 grit. Um, I actually removed the bark and the thorns with my Lawn Humphrey knife, which is just fantastic for carving. And after I sanded it with 100 grit, I followed up with 240. And in between, well, before I put my first coat on, I used some uh, steel wool. And in between each coats, I used steel wool. Now, linseed oil is not a paint. It's um, it's more like it's just like it said. It's like an oil, but it protects wood really well, and it makes the uh, grain stand out very nicely. It also uh, will not cause blistering when you do use your walking stick. So it it allows the wood to do what wood is supposed to do: breathe and uh, not really cause friction between you and your hand. Wood is a fantastic. Uh, material for walking sticks. Traditionally, that's what they're made out of, wood. Um, well, at this point, I'm just babbling, but look at the beauty of that. Here's a close-up. The grain, it's as smooth as glass. Very dense, beautiful wood. Just beautiful. I like the curve on the end. It, really makes it easy to uh, hold it while you're walking. Just beautiful. And here's an image of this plant. They can grow on the side of walls, fences. This is what mine looks like. It's growing along the fence line. I just let it kind of grow out wildly and it has beautiful berries. And uh, this is basically an article that I got off a UK site and it basically is telling you what type of plant it is and how it grows. The flowers are really nice. Uh, the flowering, the flowers are white and then once they disappear then the, the berries come and the berries are just awesome. It really attracts a lot of birds to your uh, yard also. And uh, just cutting is a little bit precarious because the thorns are over an inch long and they will get you good. So it's a great, it's great for a security fence. So y'all take it easy. I hope you guys enjoyed my babbling, but uh, boy, have a nice evening or day or whatever time it is in your part of the world. Later.